Mules Wrestling improves their dual record to six and three on the year. We're here with head coach Justin Ensign. And uh, Coach Ensign, could you please just start out, give us your overall thoughts of how you guys did today. Well, you know, I, I told the guys around the week the expectation was to go 4-0, and, and and we wrestled like that was the expectation. We came up a little short against Carney, but, I, you know, I saw a lot of good things. We're making some progress. Um, it's always, you know, it's always good to win more than you lose. Uh, but it's tough losing to Carney, but it was good to see, you know, guys like Marcus Walker and Brandon Hayes knocked off ranked guys when, you know, no way in our team's ranked. So it was good to get, you know, good for them individually. But, you know, overall, I, I'm pleased. Uh, we've made a lot of progress so far. Coming into the week, the uh, the most recent NWCA rankings had University of Central Missouri receiving votes, and uh, you're right, Carney, um, a high-ranked team. I, I believe they're sixth in the country. I think eighth or eleventh. Eighth or eleventh. They're they're a top twelve team. Uh, go back in a second and just and and tell me what it means that Brandon um, beats their heavyweight, even though you lost a duel. How, how important is that for him um you know you know him and marcus they both hadn't had that big win over a you know a, a strongly ranked uh, d2 opponent and uh the kid from carney is from originally from missouri so brandon you know was familiar who knew who he was so it's always good you know to go out there and beat somebody you know is supposed to be pretty good and you, and you go out there and get the job done and recently he lost two matches on that in that ride out situation so it was good to be on the you know the, the plus side of that instead of losing by riding time in the in the overtime situation it's good to win that there for once so but yeah it's definitely you know saw a lot of good things even though we lost that duel the final duel of the of the day against the University of Indianapolis uh, was quite an exciting one uh, the mules down 13 to 6 uh, with with three I'm, I'm sorry four classes to go what do you think uh, what was the difference in that duel um, in your eyes? Um, well, you know, I knew we were favoring some matchups getting into the upper weights, and uh, I mean, it was big, you know, we've been bumping up, you know, with Phil Witt injury, we've been bumping up to 84, so it was good for Travis to, you know, eke out a win against the kid he had lost to last year. Uh, wasn't the prettiest, but, you know, wins a win, but, you know, it was good, you know, going in 74, 84, 97 heavyweight. Uh, we were a little favored, but it was good to go out there and get the job done, especially with, you know, Brandon getting out, going out and getting the fall to you know, put the icing on the cake to win it for us. So, yeah, those were definitely some matchups. And, you know, I, I thought we had a chance to win for every bout, and it didn't really go our way. We gave us kind of a surprise fall at 49, and, uh, you know, uh, Scott Newman pulled out a last-second takedown to win at 57 against a pretty tough opponent. And, I, you know, 65, I didn't know what we had, but, you know, I thought we had a chance to win every bout. And, um, but it was good to come down the end and see those guys under pressure, knowing they had to win, go out there and do it. Real quick, uh, we had... Cody Gillenwater at 133 go 4-0 on the day. We also had our heavyweight Brandon Hayes go 4-0 on the day. But if you could look back and, uh, and give an MVP award to the best wrestler of the day, uh, where would you give that award? Oh, I guess you got to go to Brandon uh, Hayes. He, uh, you know, two of, the, two of the three duels we won that, that came down to him. And... Uh, and he got the job done. You know, you know, you want your, you want that being a heavyweight. You know, all the pressure riding on you. And he goes out there, calm, cool, collective, wrestles his match and gets the win. And you know, of course, he had a pin against Wachita, and he knocked off a ranked guy against in our loss against Carney. Um, you know, pluses though. You know, Cody Gillenwater had had been going through some rough stretches, and it was good to see him get back on track, his confidence back. Because I we've been telling him all along, he's one of the best kids in the nation. He's been right there, but he had a little rough patch, and I think it's good to see him get through it. Uh, Marcus was huge to beat, uh, you know, a rank, be probably the first ranked kid he's ever beat at 141. And, uh, but, yeah, overall, I think, like I said, I'm pleased overall at the effort. But, yeah, definitely looking strong at Brandon Hayes with his performance. Okay, thank you, Coach. Congratulations on the wins today. Um, up next, UCO, Central Oklahoma, coming here for a duel on February 7th. Um, another highly ranked team. What do, you, what do you foresee in the future for that duel? Um, you know, they're, they're coming in pretty hot, but I know they're, you know, they're very beatable. Um, and I think it, it should be a good duel, you know, come out and support us. Um, we definitely could use a big crowd, you know, and hit school history, we've never actually beaten UCO. We're owing something like 31, 32 against them in school history. So it'd be good to, you know, it's, it's always close. They're always pretty good battles. So I think, uh, you know, for people out there watching these interviews, um, definitely find your way to get out here and get to the gym and, and, you know, I think a good crowd of positive energy would definitely play in our favor in a lot of the close toss-up bouts and hopefully help us come out on top against, uh, you know, I think they're ranked in the top five right now. So it would be good to go out there and beat them finally when they're ranked that high.
Okay, thanks for your time, Coach Jensen. Thank you.